Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Rookie Balboa run. It is time for Do or Die. We're still trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with nothing but uh, our wet noodles aka the Rookies. Four man squads only. This time however we have been shot down so we could basically deploy every single one and we got uh, the finest of the fine rookies we got sonar we got sane uh, over here we got divert over there we got roby right there we got another pair uh jeranks and a aaron uh, that are making their uh, return uh, we got another pair with slicinator and xqa6 and finally universe and grill all of them ready to give their lives uh, for the greater good of defending. We already sort of scouted out uh, that um, that first um, priest, I should say. And even more importantly, we got these bad boys here. Turrets that are relentless. 10 points of damage. Lots and lots and lots of them. So... When the enemies are now coming in, we should be ready to go. It's time to lay waste, destroy the entirety here. And for the time being, let's destroy every little bit of cover that these guys have available or just destroy them. I told you that the defense matrix is an important tool for us and I did not accelerate uh, exaggerate uh, the defense metrics uh, uh, are indeed absolutely vital for the survival eight shots great performance good let's continue Good, almost got everybody down. Fantastic, that's two down right there. And shall we? Yeah, we shall. Rolling. Moving in. Saint takes the first point. And let's shred and get all of the cover. Blow it up. I'm, by the way, hearing losts. Which would be fun. That's just going to make this whole experience so much more like a battlefield. And don't get uh, too cocky yet. Uh, it is turn number one. And yes, we're sort of shredding through them. At the same time, I can ensure you that the moment we, uh, the moment that our explosives and other uh, consumable items are gone, it's not going to look that easy. Good. First pack destroyed. X Q six, and we got Slicinator here. Let's put him to there. Regardless, I want to keep a certain tempo. Heading there now. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Very good. So far, so good. The Chosen should appear. Better be careful. Immune to melee. Can summon troopers. Overwatch is, um, does not trigger Overwatch himself. And potentially has three or four armor by now. Yep. Three armor. So... We gotta put him down. It's one of the chosen. This mission just got a little more dangerous. 
Stay on top of its position and try to take it out. Well, so far we're doing all right. First spec immediately eliminated. Uh, let's keep the right or let's take the right hand side so uh, that we will get a bit closer and would get to the generator for the cannon. Archon plus two sectors, okay. Moving up, we got the nice little advanced teamwork there. And we can potentially destroy one of the trucks. Okay, so far so good. Slicing Nathan moves up. I would like to first of all move everybody up so that we got solid positions. Good, that's another move. Like I said, we want to focus solely on that right hand side for now. Orders confirmed. On the move. Orders confirmed. On the move. Bobby moves up as well. Let's take some of our rookies. Getting it done. And really move them in a bit further. It's a matter of not going too slow. Single hit, very good. That's one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Watch your flight. Good, we're just going to overwatch. And we're going to trigger next turn. That's a lot of overwatches. I distinctly hope one of uh, the packs will move into us and we'll get an overwatch uh, trap off. Good job, man. Keep it together. XQ6. Almost, almost. But he will trigger more overwatch? No, he won't. And now it's a matter of of tracing shots uh, versus our squad side. First of all, let's remove this overwatch. Fantastic, that had been greatly removed. Where are the blue screen rounds? So tracer rounds here. Blue screen rounds for a Aaron. Look, we can. These guys are not triggered yet. We might want to keep it that way. Trying to hit the mech. Not good enough. Where are the other blue screen rounds? Tracer rounds. Tracer rounds. I think this here is blue screen rounds. Okay. No rounds. God damn it. Should have marked it a bit different. More tailing rounds. Some more blue screen rounds. Okay. Good. Let's hope this is not pulling the other pack. It is not. Great. 
which means we can continue to unload on the Mac. Fantastic. That's good. Good. Uh, let's continue with the towers. Removing cover, mainly. Because even if they do not hit, there's a chance that their shots will remove the trees. And there's really no downside in using them. Couple of 50-50s, okay. Sixty-three percent. Finally, we got the mech down. Great. And last turret. Again, nice little hit. Good. Now, off to the more aggressive move forward. Very nice hit. There is a nice hair trigger on top of it. Kill and look at that. Good, move it to here. Not a perfect move. We can't, couldn't get all the way into cover. Our slight problem will be cover removal. I'm on the move. Moving up. Moving to designated coordinates. Come on, focus. Hitting him slowly but surely with the uh, stocks. Moving out. This guy is minus 50 well with rookies that's not a really good ch uh, chance but finally we got rid of uh, the cover after like dozens of shots <laughs> nailed it nailed it very good all right Roby moves over. Bivad moves over. And we got an overwatch here. Okay, cool. The advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. Good, the Chosen does Chosen things. And we just got ourselves another Lost Swarm. Unfortunately, we don't have high ground, so the loss could be an annoyance. Time is running out, Commander. And I don't think that we will get uh, shots back. So the headshot mechanic only works on non-towers. Move. Sona moves up, takes the front position here. Let's start with taking out the Archon. 
That's a difficult to hit enemy anyways, might as well use our towers for it. If we could trade all of the shots to get um, the Archon down, that would be a win in my book. Okay, so far so good. You know what? Might as well optimize those little things here. Good, keep it going. Unfortunately, we did not kill him. Where are our... Ultrasonic lures? Right over here. Fantastic. So, Krell moves up. going to kill the Archon, so might as well place this here a bit further to the back. Back in. Good. Worst possible weapon to fight anything but the Archon. But it is a fantastic weapon if you can stand still and just take shots, so that works reasonably well where are our tracer rounds right here you know what we don't need to fight against uh, the lost because they will go for the sectors might as well focus on them All right, Heading to that location. taking those flanking positions over here, which are valuable. Good burning ammo fast. And let's speed up some of our movements, so double move isn't the worst of options. Saying, where's your bond mate? Right there. Okay, good. Again. Double move it is. Beaver and Roby. You know what? Slicinator. Has his bond mate over here. Understood. The reason why I'm not that stoked about immediately killing uh, those two is we have plenty of defense mecha uh, mechanisms one of which is the ultrasonic lure and for all i'm concerned the losses are currently on our side Good. That was a really nice hit. Reanimation and potentially a mind spin, which is why I positioned everybody next to their bond mate, right? Well, that disorientation will soon go away. And by the way, feedback presents a nice little four extra damage. Massive tracking shot.
And what are the losses going to do? They just flailed the guy. Okay, that was literally the perfect counter for both of uh, the sectors. Okay, so what's the next play? Obviously, the sector it needs to die. And at the same time, we need to get out of this massive radius. Understood. Moving out. Good. First things first. Sector it is down. That's a two for one kill. I think now is a good moment in time to start killing the lost sonar can start doing that unfortunately we don't have the high ground so this is going to be 90% shots all around Good. Reloading. I'll just keep one uh, the the potential for for teamwork, and I keep that charge because maybe that is needed in order to kill the rest. Slicinator goes a bit closer. And look, we got. It's not a matter of damage, it's really just a matter of can we hit these guys. The shots are reasonably, reasonably easy to do. 80% isn't bad. We're certainly not taking the magnetic bolt caster for it. Let's first of all get out of uh, the range. We can always kind of move with the second action. Moving, out. Moving up, there is no free reloader here. So what the losses are successfully doing is they're draining us of our, uh, of our ammunition. Drinks. We can't stand here because even though it's open ground, uh, we do have the visual cover from uh, from this uh, rack. I'm fine doing that. Thankfully, some of the weapons have a free reload. And thankfully... Jarenx does have, I think, the tracer rounds. Yeah, you immediately notice it because he's almost at 90% with most of the shots. Hey, Aaron follows him. Universe follows up. And yeah, I'm not sure if we should go as far as there, but Roby could step over here with, without triggering anything. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. And Sane is doing an Overwatch as well. So we're good to go. Time to kill the lost.
We are relatively good timing wise. I don't know why this here exploded. Wait, what? Why did it explode? Oh, maybe a shot from somewhere has actually hit it, then set it on fire, and then it exploded. <laughs> okay, that triggers another swarm right away. Funnily enough, if we could trigger if we could trigger an actual advance uh, pack next, this could be helpful. Because we could advance... while killing the loss, right? We even triggered an advent pack, it would be even a bit better. But I think that's not going to be so easy. Maybe here. Alright, cool. So the reason why it makes it a bit easier is we still got a second uh, ultrasonic lure charge. What I would want to do is continue our march forward, but also use this here efficiently. And the obvious way of using it, of course, is to mark Advent with it. Okay, we're on fire. Uh, might as well want to go for the Archon first. Because uh, that guy is more, way more difficult to kill. And I somewhat have a sympathy for letting all of the loss just charge over there. For the last remaining advent uh, soldier and then we have them out of the way so to speak wow okay really good hits really good hits drinks moves up look we can Clearly get rid of some of these guys. This successfully thins out the her uh, horde a bit more. Moving up without pulling another pack. Very good. We're just getting rid of the ones that are standing in our way. The rest now, these guys could move over. Okay, let's just take out some of the cover. Well, some cover was taken out, but certainly not a lot. Good, we're overwatching. Universe moves up as well. Slicinator moves up.
50-50, that's not bad. Let's just overwatch. We're not overwatching with him. Because I don't want to lose the charge on his crossbow instead. We're moving a bit further. Good, plenty of plenty of overwatches and some reloads. He's potentially retreating. Well, he's not. Instead, he's dealing with a loss. Are you kidding me? Into full cover? Of course. See, the one time that I... That I tried to play it a bit more conservative. Uh, mm, without blowing resources, of course. Takes advantage of that. Good. Problem with the loss is solved. Enemy down. Moving, on target location. Moving up. He'll be fine. Let's make sure sonar is not a one shot. Let's furthermore make sure we're handling our business with this guy. And slowly but surely, we're uh, contributing to the deforestation of this part of the Earth. Because there is nothing left to hide behind. I would say it's only fair to say thank you. After having taken a hit. Good, moving over to here. Nothing, okay. Continuing to move up. Oftentimes just double moving. Okay, um... On it. Overwatch. overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. I think we're reloading. If it's a free reload, even better. Yeah, it is. And overwatch. The Advent power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. Good. It's just a matter of moments until that cannon will continue to fire. But he should not have any line of sight on us. You really think you could hide from me? Your divert moves up. Very nice. Moving into cover. Moving to designated coordinates. On my way. Let's aggressively push in. Will do. 
Slicinator moves as well. Saint stays there. Roby moves in. Dranks moves in. XQ6 moves in. And last but not least, Sonar. Going to take a good position over there as well. Alright, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Lots and lots and lots of Overwatches. We're still good, we're still good. We're moving much faster than I had moved on several other occasions. Good. Lost Orm. Okay, perfect. So, let's move up. Potentially trigger something. Warlock is still in range. Look, first things first. We are going to use our turrets to deal so much damage to this thing. And the Warlock is even in reach. As far as I'm concerned, Warlock didn't have any regeneration going for him. So we are fine. Tracer rounds. Let's go. Sane. Luckily for us, we have now slowly but surely figured out how to deal with the Losts. The weapons are good enough to deal with them. We don't even need the Between the Eye mod. One thing that I hadn't appreciated at the beginning of the run was that we are bound to only two resistance orders. Because de facto, uh, you can only upgrade your, your resistance ring once. And that's all you get. Like, there isn't anything else that uh, that will help you. You can't upgrade the factions. You can't upgrade the resistance ring a second time without upgrading the factions first. Confirmed. Good. Moving. Moving. Where do we want to go? So many positions. There now. Trying to build up like a fire line where if the warlord, uh, the uh, hunter still comes to us, we're ready to take him out. Good. Continuing to shoot those targets here, really. Target 
Do we have an autoloader? Uh, it doesn't say how many reloads we have left over. I think we still have a free reload. Sona moves up. And there is another Overwatch. Okay, so we do have like eight or nine Overwatches. The moment that he got. Oh, well, <laughs> he's immune to Overwatch. Never mind, I just played myself. But for the loss, it would at least work. The Chosen is still alive. But he's burning. Not far enough. Enemy destroyed. Hostile neutralized. Good. The lo loss are gone. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Well, this is the true test. Now it counts. Let's shred this guy first. Down to four armor. Okay. Advanced teamwork. And oh, barely out of range. Okay, well, we still got the good old dual strike. But I would like to do that after one more shredding. And then we'll just keep the last shredding for the chosen. We should be we should generally be good to go now. Moving on target location. Time to hit the set hit the sector pod. It's one hit. And his colleague. There we go. Eva and Roby. That's another hit. And our first sector pod goes down. I would say we're playing this with a Mimic Beacon, just in case. Let's start decimating the enemies. That's a no-no. Can't really position ourselves very well here. Moving out. That's affirmative. They are still too far away from us. Confirmed. So all we can do is move closer, but not quite there yet. Closing on target position now. Zero percent. Is either of them standing behind destructible cover? No, maybe. Maybe over here. Okay, but that guy is not standing behind destructible cover, so never mind. This, he is standing behind destructible cover.
Wait, wait, wait. No, it's... We're shooting him. This is not it. No. Too far away. The turrets are great at the beginning, but they certainly can't hit with that far of a distance. Overwatch, Aaron Overwatches, Universe Overwatches, Grell Overwatches, Slicinator Overwatches, Turrets Overwatch. And let's give it a solid Mimic Beacon. Look, we killed... We killed uh, the Sector Pod, which is good. Those guys are pretty proficient in shooting. Is the Chosen finally joining? No, he's not. Unfortunately, all of our overwatch shots are relevant. Well, maybe not. For the loss, they are okay. Those four front runners here need to die. We got tail and rounds here. No, blue screen. But this is tail and rounds, uh, tracer rounds, yeah. Just getting rid of these guys, really. Because they are the dashers, so they would be able to reach us next turn. Wow. Shot failed to connect. This basically hits another vehicle and explodes it to spawn even more lost. Great. Guys, come on. <laughs> okay. On the move. Moving further back. Let's go for the troopers. Slow and steady wins the race. He's down to two hit points. Where is my stock? Um, superior stock. Okay, good. Uh, that is over here. Moving up, and that's a hundred percent kill. Very good. Enemies down. Even if it wouldn't have Point been a hit, it would have still killed him. Going into full cover, mainly because we won't be able to move next turn. And let's bold action the guy. Nice. Good job, man. Target 
ranks moves up. Half cover and defense against rookies is unfortunately effective. We only got half cover as well, but we got more guns, so I think we will be able to uh, to win this fight. This is our mimic beacon. Yeah, we can't do anything with the towers. Might as well let them overwatch. Gotta reload. We're green to go. Good, we only got Slicinator here. And it's one of those situations where he could mimic beacon or kill the guy. 38% isn't really good though. And I know this is going to sound stupid, but I could already see how he moves in, throws a grenade and hits like five of us. That's what the Mimic Beacons are for. I got a third one if need be. Plus, these uh, creatures, deal, uh, they are dealing bleeding damage. You can't run and you can't hide. The lost, I gotta admit, are still an annoyance. Trying to really get rid of them. Okay, so far so... I was about to say, so far so good, that almost looks like she's going to kill them all, until she was not. Moving, Moving up, Slicinator tries to take matters in his own hand. much fails in doing that. Dranks. 20% shot misses. But gets a hair trigger at the same time. Which is a funny way of the game telling you, well, try again. No harm, no foul. Good, good time for reload and just trying to get this trooper down, really.
Nice. There we go. Sane begins to move up. Divert begins to move up. Overwatch shots are irrelevant. Because he's immune to it. Moving a bit closer. Roby also moves closer and just for the sake of fun, let's overwatch. Maybe he's coming in summoning uh, his his uh, stun lancers and then the overwatch shots would at least not be wasted. There we go. He basically pulls himself. You think it would be relatively easy to find a ship of this size, but you've done an admirable job of hiding it. Up until now, at least. You've got the chosen in range. And there are his summonings. Can they even leave from up there? Yes, they can. was as good as it always has been. Really no change in that regard. Why exactly is another swarm appearing? Like, it's near, it appears. Where are all of that, those explosions coming from? It seems the game is trying to artificially create more explosions just for the sake of it. To slow us down. Okay, let's start. I mean, a couple of things first, right? We got to deal with the dashers. Is no both of those guys are not good at hitting. Tracer rounds would be the correct choice here. Roger that. We've got here. Okay. Gotta save that mimic beacon, I suppose. Another big fat sector pod. Good, first things first, let's get the dashers down. And we still have a relatively good position, so... We shouldn't feel that there is an absolute need to leave this position. I think we are, we are um, out of auto loaders. Yep, we're out. But that doesn't mean that uh, teamwork needs to stop here. 
quite the contrary. What we could do is... Uh, there is still an overwatch back there. Gotta be careful. Okay, that worked. Barely, barely out of reach for all three of them, which would have been the perfect one. I think this here... Nah. This here is the better way to go. Fantastic. So before we continue with anything, let's see what the turrets can or cannot do. A 13% hit chance isn't bad considering all of the other things. I mean, it's really far away, right? But if we could hit the sector port at least once, that won't be bad. Come on, 20%. Roll the dice, baby. Nope, still not hitting. There we go, that's the one hit we were hoping for. If you have eight shots, it's one to two hits on average that you can expect. Where are the blue screen rounds? Tracer rounds, okay. And we got blue screen rounds here. Fantastic, which means I am with you. we're using advanced teamwork because that sector port needs to die. There is also a reasonable chance for an execution. Of course, that does not happen right away. Good. Where are the other blue screen rounds? Right here. Let's have a shot. Could have gone a bit closer even. Advanced team working. Continuing the good hits. And now the thing is actually down to a single shot. Which gives us time to reload. And just get it down. Do we have advanced stock? Okay, advanced stock would be good enough. Moving over here, slice in nature, full cover. That's a kill. Taking matters nicely into our hands. Let's focus on the troopers. Wide. 
50-50s are not happening here. Moving closer up. Another 50-50, come on. Fantastic. So he's stunned, uh, which means... That's a no action from his side. Definitely throwing a Mimic Beacon out here. Might not be good enough for the mech. Which I admit is a problem. But it's unlikely that the mech will uh, just kill anyone. It's very likely that it will use its micro missiles. Chrysalids back here. That's an important info. Oh, fantastic. Very good. That was helpful. Good. The lost start to move into our direction but there are some good developments as well one of them seems to want to go for the chosen but i think he's immune to melee oh boy what a slaughterhouse oh this is a great fight truly worthy of an advent uh, an adventure defense mission All right, need to take a short break there. This mission is brutal, very long. But we gotta get that heavy mech down first. Uh, let's just reload. And since we got the blue screen rounds, I would assume this here should be a good hit. Good, let's get rid of some of uh, these guys back here. And we might want to set set him up. Nope, it didn't work. So, do we have another Mimic Beacon? Answer is no, apparently. No, the answer is no. That was our last beacon, and that's okay. Just got to be careful not to pull that extra peg over there. We got blue screen rounds, and can we hit this guy? Yes, we theoretically can. Good time to reload to get some momentum back, and let's kill him. Okay, that didn't work out as expected, and unfortunately you can't shift actions. Tail and rounds. Overwatching with all of the towers. 
Tracer rounds. Tracer rounds. Well, look, we gotta we gotta get a bit closer, anyways, right? So might as well for the back. Oh well, did I just end up in the open? That was stupid. Good. We got a stock here, right? Right. So that's a hundred percent kill against the mech. Kill confirmed. On reserve. Good. Now is a good time for reload. Or slicinator here. Sane moves up closer, but hopefully without pulling the chrysalids. Very good. Close, but not quite. What can we do from back here? 15% is not good enough. I think we're just going to overwatch. Let's try this again. I got nothing. Almost got him down. How many shots do you think you're going to get? Quite a few actually. Quite a few. Moving to here, uh, this here is dangerous because of the chrysalids, and we're double overwatching. He still continues to burn, and that means no special abilities for him, but he can still shoot, right? Got a full new lost swarm appears. And that also takes care of his quite stupid overwatch. Okay, that's a nice hit. I'll give you a sporting chance. Moving back. Let's get that nice little heal. And I'm getting tired of this very long corridor where we can't really get uh, to them. So what we're instead going to do is we're going to charge in, at least partially. This here is superior stock. Very good, so we're going to kill the slots here for free. And 
And then let's start chipping away at the... Oh well. That worked better than I would have expected. Slicinator can help us to get rid of some of the losts. The problem is we have just too many things on the field. The towers are useless at this point. And I don't mean useless, uh, but they have served their purpose is potentially the better way of putting it. Okay, that's not happening today. Again, it's not happening. Trying our best to just get some of the dashers down. Knowing farewell if we don't, they will run up to us. But the one thing that you learn in XCOM quite fast is that a 70% shot really doesn't mean that you hit. Quite often it just means nothing. Good, moving back in cover into cover. Apparently even a 90% shot doesn't really mean anything nowadays. Still waiting for the Chosen to stop hiding back there and coming a bit closer. He has hidden behind one sector pot, uh, pack and then a second one and now he's yet again hiding all the way back there. Not sure if he's standing there or there. Good, well, listen. We're getting as close as possible to the ledge here. And once uh, those losts are gone, more people are going to charge over. Let's really move up. Sometimes all you can do is get into a better position. But I'm convinced that that will help us in the long run. So a squad of three is moving in.
He is so annoying and he's just trying to stay back. Bleeding is a problem. I think we have no further med kits. Nope, we're out of med kits. Good, moving into the open doesn't matter now. I'll get him down. Oh wow, he dodged it. Okay, well, I think we got a uh, superior to get repeater here, or advanced repeater. And what a better way of saying F you than basically killing him with a repeater. Not with a repeater, but uh, with uh, a stock. So that's what you get from wounding us. The problem is we're continuing to bleed and I don't know how to stop it. Can't really place to reconsider my tactics. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that. I can't call an evic zone, so he might go down. Okay, time to deal with chrysalids. And the way that I would approach that is... By doing the good old uh, fire line. Very good, very good, excellent. Those two hopefully will get down. Leading for another two. Can we somehow stop the bleeding? Really can't. Wow, that is tragic. I hate to see it. We could still use the teamwork. And now is a good time to trigger really. On the move. Good, let's start exploding these things here because that could trigger lost and i would like them to, to be triggered now so that we could potentially destroy them because if we finish the mission at two before this uh, turn ends our bleeding operative might survive it or would actually survive it because then we're done done
destroyed all of the enemy siege emplacements. Excellent work, Commander. I'm ready. Good, back to the towers. Because uh, they technically could try to hit something. It's not a great chance. Okay, we're up here. Let's go. So we're taking good care of all of these guys here. Okay, we can continue the onslaught up here. Enemy destroyed. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, nine. That's a sixty-six percent chance to kill him. Not good enough. Good, another reload. Now, time for advanced teamwork. We got Frostbite theoretically disabling this guy. Let's start destroying the chrysalids. Your dual strike gets him down nicely. Okay, the flashbang is valuable. Ready to go. What a nice hit. Very good. Now, let's take the shot. Missed. Good, in case you're... We will overcome. In case you're falling over, now is a good time for another reload here. Now we're going to save uh, that grenade. Overwatch. Move up. Divad moves up and we might be able to take that shot and even kill him. That was quite good because now Aaron can finish him with a 100% chance. And continue getting those chrysalids down. Flash being still available. Reloading just in case. And let's try to hit the chrysalids. That is not good. Good. Roby does the only sensible thing, which is getting further away. Um, and at 
the same time. Universe does the only sensible thing. So the negative is I couldn't stop the bleeding. That's a problem. Let's hope it's just bleeding out and not kill right away. That will be his last ditch effort before he will go down. It's bleeding out, okay. We got a few more turns with that. A Aaron continues his killing spree. Good. Time to stand our ground. There is no permanent running away from chrysalids. It's just not happening. That didn't do much. Superior stock is 100% kill against this guy. Hundred and twenty. Wow. Holy moly. Holy moly, guys. Okay, and we're back. Let's get going. Uh, we got a lot of promotions that we can't use. We additionally got quite a few corpses. That isn't bad, and we got a sector port breakdown, which again we really couldn't uh, use as much. We also got Fear of the Chosen put into Nick, which is yet another trait we gotta remove. Whew, that was a hard fought battle, but one that will push the Chosen off. And we will, we've just bought ourselves a few more months uh, without interruption, I, s I think at least. I had to expect you'd at least win a few of these little battles. Good. Beam cannon. And we get a couple of autopsies for free. Reinforced underlying active, that's good. Physically. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Experimental armor isn't bad either. That's that could lead to uh, some interesting research. Uh, but for now let's let's just go with uh, the storm gun. And I think I think we're almost done with our intel. A uh, moment that we hit 25 intel. Commander, we've located one of their wow, fantastic. Well, let's shortly get the last intel. Thank you. Good, and the next mission most likely is going to include a raid onto a facility. What can we do with the remaining staff here? Currently we are, well, you never know if you're being shot down, so might as well just keep it that way. We do not need to excavate just so fast. Put more energy in. 
Oh, and we're missing the supplies. Well, never mind. We can fix that at a later time. For now, what we wanted to fix is resistance ring, assign a new covert action, and have that plus 10 dodge nicely placed on Roby. Put his bond mate, Diva, on it by getting it down to 12 instead of 13 days. And there is a good chance that they will be ambushed, but I think... Giving them the cheaper armors... ...will still allow us uh, to be successful. Yeah, they, they got everything they need in case they are ambushed, we're fine. I just don't want either of them to be captured and the plus 10 dodge are fantastic. So, that's great. If we expand everything, couldn't have come at a better time because soon the month is over. And... By really thinking about it... Let's speed that up a bit more. We're down to 8 days, because that allows us maybe to get 2 missions in next month. And in terms of next steps... Now it's really time to go for another facility. The only one that we do have available is right here. With no one else but the Berserker Queen. Love it. I will prepare that and uh, that's the natural end of today's episode. We still have a good uh, residual time with the Avatar project here, so that's fine. Might as well need to expand a bit further afterwards, but for now we're fine. I think getting Asia with the technical... Uh, with the technical uh, mm, uh, assessment uh, continent bonus would be helpful because then the moment that we're running into enemies they only have one turn and typically that is one of the strongest uh, rewards that you can get or the, the strongest uh, continent boni that you can get. The one thing that I would wish if I had a free wish uh, is plasma weapon upgrades uh, so a breakthrough there it gives us plus one damage on plasma weapons. That would be really helpful. It's not happening at the moment, but that extra one damage could uh, could change the game quite a bit. And hopefully some more superior uh, um, scopes for next month. That would be good as well. So those two things uh, could still give us power. Other than that, we're maxed out, but we have survived the first onslaught. Leave a comment down below. This is a mam mammoth episode and I would like to see what you think after almost two hours of of uh, uh, fencing off and defending the um, Avenger. Thanks for watching guys and have a good one. Bye bye.